they collect data relating to opening, closing, and duration and use of third-party applications. So it's not just your official applications, they are now even logging data about the third-party applications you have installed on your device and nobody wants that. So Amazon is now collecting even more data about how we use our devices, our Fire Sticks, our Fire Tablets, really anything you do on Amazon, even things like using your voice, all of that data is being captured, it's being stored on the Amazon servers. And really many people are not happy with this because if you are somebody that takes their privacy seriously, then you really want to limit how much data or how much of your personal data is logged by Amazon. I mean, as a quick test, if I just say, are you listening to me all the time? Just to show you a quick demo. Okay, so we can see a response there. We can see what's happened there. But if you actually look on the Amazon website, they've actually got a dedicated page where they list out all of the data that they try to capture, all of the things that are being monitored on your device. But at the same time, they do list out some steps that you can follow, which will then turn off that data logging. And I do think with some of the recent updates on the Amazon devices, some of these options have now been enabled, which means that they are again capturing more things than before. So I do recommend that you watch the rest of this video so I can show you exactly how you can turn off these new options and really just minimize anything that Amazon are capturing about you. If I quickly just show you the Amazon page, now we can see here that they actually mentioned that on these Amazon devices, they log the operating system of your device. They collect features like even things like navigation of the home screen. So that means as I'm navigating around, I'm clicking home, I'm going to settings, all of that data is actually being captured because I guess they want to monitor browsing habits, user habits, and they can use that to then push out adverts to your device. They also look at your device language, they look at your display size, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth options, all of these things are being captured. Now they say here that what do they actually do with this data? So it says that they use the data to provide you with features of the device, like for example to fulfill actions that your device uh, that may take, like opening an app, like maybe restoring settings. Um, they use that to help troubleshoot when you have a problem and they also use the data to develop and improve products and features for all of their customers. So really, just to see what you're doing on your device, which applications you open the most, how you use your device, your favorite settings, your favorite options, all of that data is being captured by Amazon. And then it goes on to talk about how you can control that. Well, let's demonstrate this on my third generation Fire TV Cube, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device. Now, probably the first thing you want to do is just go over to the settings and do watch this video to the end because I will show you that bonus tip or really how you can manage those voice recordings. As you heard me use my voice to say, you know, are you listening to me? That actually was captured somewhere and it's now been stored permanently on my profile, which I will show you how you can remove. But for starters, let's go over to, to the preferences. Let's click on that. Let's go into the privacy settings. Now you'll see on most devices, these are all enabled by default. The big one is things like, for example, the device usage data. So this actually collects information about your device, what you're doing on your device. This one here also collects your app usage. So what applications you have installed, applications that you've downloaded. I was actually very surprised to find out that this actually also impacts third party applications. So it's not a case of Amazon saying like anything you download from the official Amazon app store, we will collect the app data, but in reality, in fact, I can show you directly on the Amazon website, it says app usage data, you can opt out of this, but they collect data relating to opening, closing, and duration and use of third-party applications. So it's not just your official applications, they are now even logging data about the third-party applications you have installed on your device and nobody wants that. So going back to my device, we definitely want to ensure that this is also left off. The interest based ads and also the cookie consent, I do recommend you also turn off because again, it just minimizes any personal data, any personalization of adverts you see on your device. And again, just stops or reduces how much data Amazon will collect about you. Once you've confirmed all those, let's go back. Let's go to data usage monitoring. And here just double check and ensure that your data usage monitoring is off because we don't want anything being logged on our device. 
And this one I also recommend you turn off. Otherwise you start seeing that prompt like, are you still using your device? Are you still watching? Which typically impacts your third party streaming type applications because they can't actually detect that you are watching something through that. So again, I do recommend that you turn that off. Let's go to featured content. And this just ensures that you don't see those big, loud video previews on the home screen. So I would recommend just ensuring both of these are also set to off. Let's go back. Let's go to applications. Let's go to Amazon photos. Now, if you're not using this feature, I would recommend turning both of these off and disabling that because again, we want to minimize what's running. We want to minimize what's being collected, really just minimize anything that Amazon are doing on your device. If you're not using the features, we can see on my device, both of these are now set to off, off and then disabled. Let's press back. Silk browser, I'll click on this and go down to where it says privacy and just ensure that your do not send track request is set to on. Also ensure that where it says improve silk browsing, you also turn that off because if that's on, they start collecting data about how you're using silk, what kind of sites you're browsing. So we also want to ensure that that is also set to off. And if you want to ensure no adverts through the silk browser, you want to ensure that your secure DNS is set exactly like this. Now you can pause this video to get this URL, make sure you type this in exactly right because if there's any typos or errors, you will see a red warning. But setting your secure DNS to AdGuard will ensure that you won't see any adverts through Silk. Let's go back, back again. Now let's go to App Store. Now this one, if you are using official applications, you can leave on, but if you are somebody and there are many, many people who don't use any standard applications, you don't care about automatic updates. You don't want your applications calling back home to ask if there is a new update. So again, to minimize the processes that are running, minimize the things that are running on your device, you can turn this off if you want to. This one, if you want to ensure that no in-app purchases happen, you can obviously turn that off as well, but that's again, really just a, a personal preference. If you don't want any notifications from App Store type messages, you can also turn all of them off with a single click here. I'll leave mine on, let's go back. So those are the main things I would ensure that are not running or are set in a certain way to again, minimize that data collection and minimize things running in the background. Now regarding those voice recordings, because anything you say on your device or anything you say to any of the other A assistants in the house, all of that data is being logged. Now to access that data, all you need to do is just open up Amazon and navigate to this URL. And we can see under devices, when I click on this, I can see all of the Fire TVs registered to my account. I can see some of the other Amazon devices. If I click on Fire TV device, I can then see all of my devices. If I click on the third generation Fire TV cube, we can see some information about the device. We can see how much space is left. But over here, we can see we have the option delete voice recording. So with a single click now, I can delete all of those previous voice recordings that Amazon captured from my device, but you can also turn this off permanently. So if you don't want Amazon to store anything that I'm saying on the device, they should just use the voice command, process it, and then delete that command. The way you do that is if you go over to privacy settings, let's click on that and click on the A word privacy. We can see now, for example, if I click on review voice history, we can see that message that we said at the start, which is, are you listening to me all the time? So just to confirm or just to show you that anything you say on these devices, Amazon are capturing that, but they are also storing it indefinitely. So here, for example, I can click on delete all recordings from today. But if you want to take it to the next level, you can go back and click on manage your uh, A word data. And we can see now, first, you can even enable an option which says you can say a word, delete the last thing that I said, or delete everything I said today, if you want to do that. Or you can go to this bigger option, which says, choose how long to save the recordings. And we can see by default, they are saved permanently until you go ahead and delete them. If I click on the options, we can see we can save them for 18 months, for three months, or you can take it to the next level if you are seriously conscious about your privacy, and you can just say, don't save any recording, which means you can still use your voice to control things, to activate things, to switch things off. 
but it just means that Amazon will not store your voice on their servers. So they'll process the command and delete that data. So a couple of different options to try. And I do think with some of the changes that we've seen recently, I definitely think it's worthwhile going through your privacy settings or some of your options just to ensure that nothing has been cynically activated again. And of course, if you're looking for the easiest way to ensure maximum privacy, just to ensure that all of your data is always encrypted, the easiest way to do that is to, of course, use a VPN. Right now, there's a special offer where you can get a massive discount, giving you 75% off. That means all of your devices can be protected with the VPN, get maximum privacy, ensure nobody can track what you're doing, ensure your ISP can't track you, advertisers can't monitor you, to get all of that with really fast speeds at just under $3 a month. I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. If you want to take up this special offer, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about Amazon logging even more data, trying to capture even more of your private information, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.